Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. Uh, I'm doing this new look Milwaukee Bucks rebuild. I don't know if you guys are watching this on YouTube after the live stream. If you are, uh, it's gonna take a few minutes here to get things all set up. We're gonna wait until people get in the live stream and stuff like that. Um, but yes, a trade has just gone down. Not like a big time trade, but I mean, like you know, it's 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 a respectable move out there in the sense that George Hill is like, you know, he he, he played on the Cavs last season with like LeBron and all of them when they went to the finals, and. Uh, if anything, really, the, the the big thing behind this trade right here is that it freed up, I believe, I don't know, a few million bucks for the uh, for for the bucks. No pun. I, I swear, guys, I not do a pun there on purpose, man. I I apologize one hundred percent. But yes, uh, it is going to free up some money in the short term for the Milwaukee Bucks. So after this season, they will have a little bit of you know cha ching out there to work with. Um, in a pretty deep free agency class. I don't know how much exactly it frees up. Um. But also, you know, they also get Sam Decker, who is a nice young prospect. Uh, you look at the Cavaliers side of things, um, they get, I don't. I guess you don't really want to say, like, like, get out of George Hill's contract because they take on John Henson, who is, like, a respectable um, player. And also, who else they get, man? Uh, yeah, they got Delhi. Delhi is back, man. The Delhi is open again uh, in Cleveland. So, yes. And not to mention they get a first and second round draft pick. The first round draft pick is heavily protected. Uh, but keep in mind, if after five years, like, if if for some reason the draft pick doesn't, like, live up to the stipulations, it becomes two second-round draft picks. So, yeah, man, I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of look at the, uh, I haven't really done Milwaukee Bucks rebuild in quite a while. And just kind of, like, see what this does financially for us, see if we can, like, add another piece around Giannis, uh, and just make this Bucks team into, you know, a dynasty out there. So, yeah, guys, this is got to set everything up here, man. I've not done anything of that yet. Um... That's okay. We got we got time. We can wait for some people to get up here and subscribe and do some things like that and join the stream and like the stream and all that good stuff. Uh, so here we go, man. Start today. Start today. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm probably not going to put this um, on YouTube after because it's just kind of like a very low key stream today. Um, but yeah, let me get this all set up here, man. So Trump bitch ass fatigue. Uh, Saturday, keep, keep the same. Um, just for like until I do the trade, I'm gonna put on financial trade rules off, and I'm also gonna take a uh, trade override and turn that on just so I can get the correct trade going for us. Because 2K might disagree, think we all know how that is. Uh, injuries, uh, we will use roster injuries, but it's only gonna be for this first season. And uh, trade, I always put it at 37. I always let you guys know that before I do my rebuilds and stuff on live streams. Morale down to zero. And what else do we got here, man? Um. Also, I wanted to, yeah, I also want to put down, I don't want to, like, play with injuries, but I want, like, the current injuries to be on there, just because it's more fun like that. So, yeah, we're going to put the uh, frequency at zero. That means that the injuries will still, like, play out this season, but we won't see any new players getting injured because, you know, it's 2K, and we don't want to see that. Here we go, man, Milwaukee Bucks. I know I probably used the wrong logo for this thumbnail, but it's all good. Yeah, I was not actually going to live stream tonight, um, but, like, my... Is something wrong with my face? I think everything looks good. Does everything everything look okay here, guys? Hunter's just saying, look at his face, man. Just leave me alone, bro. God, I'm self-conscious, man. God damn. I'm just joking. I'm fine. I actually, yo, guys, believe this or not, man. <laughs> I got an email uh, from some company. I'm not going to name the company because I'm not actually taking the sponsorship. But yeah, they wanted me to do a little, uh, little modeling, guys. A little modeling on Instagram. And I, I don't understand because I look like a potato. So maybe it's like a Mr. Potato Head clothing line because, of course, you know, Toy Story 4 is coming out and stuff. I don't know what it was exactly. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I did not actually I did not actually accept it because, I don't know, I, I don't feel like I have the audience where they would buy, like, a cloth. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what type of clothes it was. I don't know what type of clothes it was. But I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, it's going to be a hard no for me. All right, guys, let's uh, do this trade here real quick. So it was... It was, oh, John, I can make John Henson healthy. I thought you couldn't trade injured players. Because John Henson, like, George Hill is going to um, have his physical on Monday. But, like, we already know for a fact that John Henson is injured. So, how is this trade allowed to go through? Unless, like, the team, like, knows ahead of time? I guess that would make sense. Like, if a team, like, knows that a player is injured and they're like, yeah, I'll still take him on. That's fine. Um, and, you know, both group teams agreed to that. That would be okay. With that George Hill, it's like, he has to take a physical because... You know, technically, he's listed as healthy, but who knows? Like, maybe he has some sort of injury that they don't really know about. All right, so the trade was... Hope I don't got to make no other players healthy. It was John Henson. Cavaliers get a pretty nice player. John Henson's only 27, so he's like... In basketball terms, that is like his prime, right? 
And uh, it's it's not too bad for them. I mean, yeah, he's not oh, actually. It, no, it is is actually kind of trash because they already got Tristan Thompson. They already got Larry Nance. They've had a lot of money too, and now they got another center. It actually is trash. I could actually see him probably getting traded to a contending team. Ooh, he would actually. Be, I was gonna say the Lakers, but now they got Tyson Chandler and Javale McGee. They don't really need John Henson, but that wouldn't have been uh, too bad of a fit. And then, of course, Matthew Delladova, who has not really been, like, relevant since he won the uh, Cavaliers, like, two games in the finals a few seasons ago. Um, I don't think it was any draft picks. No, no, it was, yeah, it was a 2021 first-round pick. It's not going to let me trade that. It, it, was, it was somewhere, like, in the next five years, so I'm just going to do the 2022, I guess. And we'll make it uh, unprotected, I guess. I don't, I don't really want to do that, but it's fine. And then also a future second-round draft pick, so we'll also give them that. And then, of course, in return, they are getting George Hill, 77 overall. He does have a team option, so it's not guaranteed money. Um, and I still think George Hill, like, he might actually, like, stick around on this team for a bit. Um, but I do see his option getting declined, and then maybe he resigns back for a little bit, uh, a little, little less money. You know, maybe, like, play for a contender and stuff like that. It depends how he ultimately fits on here. And also, they got, where's he at, man? Sam Decker freaking listed as injured, too. Oh, my God. Yo, give me one second. I've got to make George, no, i got to make him healthy. Um, so I can put him on the team. I'm just gonna, you know, give a trash player for him. Oh man. Okay, yeah, Sam Decker. Let's get him on the squad because everybody's injured. But for some reason, the trade can still go down. What's going on, guys? You're gonna celebrate all week long after he heard this news. That's right, man. <laughs> Although uh, I don't know the way he the way he played in the finals last year, he might want to just play for a for a low key a low key team like this. I say low key. By the way, speaking of low key, did you guys see that new Avengers trailer? It didn't really say, it didn't really, like, show too much, but it still got me hyped. I don't know if I'm, like, a big fan of the name, uh, because it, it's called Avengers Endgame, which just, it doesn't, like, ring off the, uh, the tongue all that great, but, I mean, it makes sense, because, like, I don't know, I like that line that, doc, that Doctor Strange was, like, we're in the Endgame now, so, it does make it cool in that sense, where, like, they literally said the title in the, in the, uh, in the last movie. But, I don't know, it should be pretty good. Okay, now I gotta just give a bitch-ass player real quick here. Y'all can have Christian Wood. And I'm going to take the man, uh, he's not actually part of the trade, but in this case. And I'm going to take the man, Sam Decker, who's only 24. I was, I was like, I plan on um, investing in him, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There we go. The trade is now official. Let me go ahead back here and turn the uh, trade stuff back. So that way it's like actually realistic now. And trade override off. Okay, so looking at this Bucks team, what exactly are they going to do now? Um, probably not much has changed. They do get more of a... I would say more of a actual, like, natural backup point guard. Because before, I you know, I know Delhi was getting some minutes out there, although he was injured. I think uh, Devin Chino out here was maybe playing some minutes as backup point guard. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But it gives them, like, a like a set option. It gives them a guy that's been in the NBA for quite a long time. Um, this NBA season, that you know, when he actually is healthy, 11 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists per game. But this is the most important part, guys. 51% field goal percentage, extremely efficient. And 46% from 3, which is just absolutely beautiful. Put more shooters around Giannis, um, which goes to show, like, George Hill, um, he knows how to play with players like Giannis. You know, small forward slash power forwards, because he plays power forward a lot. Um, he, he, like, knows how to play with guys like Giannis that... Are those extremely athletic, ball dominant kind of forwards? Because look at LeBron James last season. Also, has he ever played with Kawhi Leonard? Kind of was like part of the Kawhi trade, but I don't think he actually ever played with him. He did play with Paul George, I believe, right uh, on the uh, Pacers back in the day. Um, but yeah, man, he's just you know he, he hasn't been great since this. U he actually played really good for Utah this season. Indiana he had his few good seasons on. So yeah, man, it's, it's definitely not bad. And then Sam Decker, uh, I think he's been played a few seasons here. Um, he was injured his rookie season on Houston. I believe he like had a broken something penis or I mean leg. Um, Houston, we got Clippers on there. Didn't really do much for them. So he might actually spend some time here in the G League. Uh, cause I would like to ultimately make him into like a stretch four. He is six nine two thirty. So he's got the height. He's got the weight to play that position. It's just not ideal as of right now. So yeah, this first season, like I was saying, guys, not much is gonna change. Um, we're gonna stick with Giannis at power forward. Chris, you know, Chris Middleton. This is the team that's kind of getting it done. George Hill will get about 23 minutes per game. Actually, I'm going to take away a few minutes here. Because, uh, yeah, backup center. We got Thon Baker playing about nine minutes per game. He's had some pretty decent moments this season. I want Giannis at, like, 42 a game. Uh, Chris Milton got to be playing quite a bit. Let's get uh, Eric Bledsoe. Because Bledsoe this season, 16.6 .6 rebounds. He's actually been really efficient, too. Damn, dude. The whole damn Bucks team has been uh, pretty nice. 
this dude saying that Decker is trash. I'm just excited to see like what we could do financially, you know, come the off season with like some of these players because Bledsoe, his contract's off the books. Middleton, of course, is gonna be a free agent. He's gonna get paid though. Uh, Tony Snell like, kind of has a bitch ass contract considering what he is at this point. That is a bitch ass. I'm, I've never liked Tony Snell. I don't know why. I just don't like him, <laughs> and it's not nice of me to say. So we got Mike, uh, Mike Budweiser right here, uh, three star proficiency. Uh, for defense, you know, defense wins games. That's what they used to say. Now it's, uh, you know, three-point shooting wins games. But we'll stick with that. It's his preferred thing. And we're just going to kind of, like, finish up this season right here. 16-7. and seven. Hopefully they stick with that. But like I said, guys, it is 2K. Um, we already lost to the Warriors, so not a good start. See if they can beat the... Uh, actually, let me... Uh, oh, my God. Three games. Y'all lost to Cleveland! Oh, my God, man. Maybe Delhi is the answer. Well, Delhi was freaking eating over here, bro. Like, actually, no, I only think he probably didn't even play. Where's he at? Damn, he's on. He's on that DNP, bro. Okay. Oh my God, though, this team is George George Hill. Damn, one for six. I could do that. It ain't gonna cost nineteen million dollars, man. I'll do that for nineteen cents. I'll I'll shoot one for six, please. Oh, let's be honest. It'd be all for six. <laughs> We're being honest out there, but damn, dude, the, the team is not not off to a great start. But yeah, let me turn off trades real quick so the simulation goes by a bit quicker here. I'm just extremely disappointed. Let me actually also, I guess we go to system permission, maybe switch this up. Let's try the pace and space out. I mean, the only one that I can't really shoot on the team for three point range is Giannis. So, wow, dude. But we're going to have to add something up in here because this is, this is not really working out. They're like one and seven, two and eight, whatever it is now. Maybe they got good chemistry going. Crispy versus George Hill one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know, man. I, I do kind of have uh, what I like to call crispy range. It's like curry range, just a little farther back. Say so I got to get rid of all... Yeah, well, the reason the Cavaliers are taking on so many contracts is because they know they're not going to be good for quite a while. Um, So they're they're kind of taking on these contracts, but in return, they are asking for, you know, draft picks. So they got a first rounder and a second rounder here um, for, like, Henson and Dell, who got, like, what, like two more years left on their deal? And they know they're not going to be anything great in two years. I mean, yeah, Zion can come on the team and be fantastic his rookie season, but he's not going to, like, change the culture that quick. Very rarely do, uh, very rarely do, like, rookies come on the team and just, like, change the team dramatically. I mean, even look at the first pick, DeAndre Ayton. Like, yeah, he's putting up nice numbers for a rookie, like 16 and 10. Um, but it's like the Suns are, what, last place in the entire NBA? They got, like, four wins on the season, so... By the way, guys, this is not this is not like actual like trash monster. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. Monster Rehab, only 10 calories. I guess technically 25 because it's the entire can. But, dude, this, this, this is the reason why you have videos every single day, man, because this stuff gets me going. Sometimes I'll just do like a nice black coffee too, though. 2K not giving this team any respect. Like, yeah, we're getting some W's out there. But we're we lost to Cleveland again and again. Damn, three times. What is going on, man? Delhi like, knows... He he freaking bitch-ass playing, man, knowing the secret formula of the Krusty Krab. He don't even play, though. That's the thing. He's not even playing. But still, a George Hill 0 for 6. Yeah, I, well, I, I said I could do that for literally, man. I'll pay you guys 19 cents to do that. How do this game back? Because he is... He is playing like trash, guys. Honestly speaking, like... 1 for 7! Come on, George! Like, seriously, man, you get $19 million. That's more, I'm, I'm going to see in my entire lifetime is like 50. <laughs> if you guys want to donate, link in the description. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Somebody donates me $19 million. Um, I would still not retire from YouTube. I'm doing YouTube until like I'm 85. Yeah, you're going to see 85-year-old flakes doing this, like yelling and stuff. But, yeah, the, te the team chemistry is just completely off here. They're... Might be a 500 team, guys. This is this is horrible, man. Um, yeah, let me go turn trades back on real quick so we can do all that when the time comes. Because please believe, in this case, some guy get traded. I don't know. Maybe I got to put guy, like Giannis back to his natural three spot or something. But 41 and 41 did not work out very well for this team. Here's all the stats. We got Giannis again, defensive player, 25 points, 14 rebounds, five assists. So I mean, he did his part out there. I'm very curious what others. Uh, what these other stats are looking like. All-NBA first team, of course. All-NBA second looking like this. And All-NBA third. 
Giannis make it all defensive, which makes sense because he was defensive player of the year. Um, but yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go. Like check this out. Player stats. Okay, so Giannis nice numbers. Middleton, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. I believe he's closer to more to like an actual like 20 point per game score. Um, then you got Eric Bledsoe who was shooting very high efficiently like before I started doing this video. But ended up with 15 and 5. I don't know, man. I st I'm still like in the mindset that Eric Bledsoe is not like a great player alongside Giannis. But it's whatever. Brooke Lopez, 12 points per game. Ended up shooting 35% uh, from 3. Brogdon did okay out there. Ilya Sov. And you got George Hill. 8 points, 3 assists per game, 42% field goal, and shot 36 7 from 3. So, it's really not too bad in theory, man. But uh, still, DJ Wilson. Yeah, Decker, I did not actually put him in the G League. That's okay. He's like, I don't know. I just I didn't really care all that much. Can I, like, see what George Hill did since he joined the team? Is is that a possible thing to look at? It might not actually be possible. I guess I can, I can go ahead because right now we are in December. So, Checking out his January, February, March stats. About eight points. He got a few assists out there. So it's not bad. Just the Ooh. That's rough, Chief. February. <laughs> February would not. He must got heartbroken on Valentine's Day or something, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe he pick, picked up a bitch-ass rose and it stuck him in his shooting hat or something like that. Because this dude got 33% field goal percentage. That's like my, my I'm not, I'm not going to roast myself anymore, man. But that is how I shoot in the gym. I'm about probably a 33% in gym field goal percentage shooter. Uh, I, did, I, I don't know where this team went wrong. I don't know why we're 41-41. Maybe everybody else just dominated. Checking out the points per game. We were eighth in the NBA in that department. I believe we had the defensive player of the year on our team. Uh, but even so, ooh, we were kind of, wow, actually one of the worst defensive teams in the entire NBA. Field goal percentage looks like it was about league average. Three-point shots. It was fine. I guess we'll simulate these playoffs, see what happens, guys. Uh, we got first round against the Indiana Pacers, who are the third seed. Simulate current round. See how this goes for us. Shout out, guys. We do have 340 people watching this live stream. Um, guys, if you do me a quick favor, man, drop that like on this live stream. Helps out so much with everything. Just just everything, guys. It really helps. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, after this live stream, I do have a video talking about Melo on the Lakers coming out. Tomorrow, I have a what-if video. Uh, coming out and maybe this live stream makes it to the uh makes it to the actual channel i'm not quite sure yet <laughs> hey yo i, I hear that Kawhi laugh man we have a four dollar donation from a giant rock saying take this trade and then get john wall and sim again uh i mean i don't even, I, I don't think john wall was like that big of an improvement over eric bledsoe uh, as far as like a player you want around Giannis. But yeah, 31, 12, and 3 for Giannis. Uh, Middleton, 16 points. Love to see him shoot a bit more out there. Brick, yeah, Brick Lopez. I, mean, I know I call you Splash Mountain, but you going back to Brick, putting that L in Lopez. And then George Hill got to the free throw line. Not terrible numbers, though. But didn't really, like, shoot. And he has games like that, too, where he just, like, he's like, whatever. All right, same with the rest of these playoffs. We got to get to this uh, first season here, guys. We got to do it out here, so. Or this first offseason, I should say. And it's like, now, now I'm, like, debating how much do I want to pay Chris Middleton. Like, if I have the money to put, like, a superstar player around Giannis, would I rather do that? Or do I pay that money towards Chris Middleton and see what happens? You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'm going to need you guys' help, guys, in the chat. So, everybody get up in there, man. Because um, once free entry hits, like, I'm going to need some advice out here. Uh, let's go ahead and hit up probably staff signing, I guess. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, we do have Mike Budweiser around here. D offense, B minus defense, A minus potential. Ugh, should I fire him or should I keep him? Because that defense, or I'm sorry, that offense is is kind of not good. Get a small forward and put Giannis at power forward. Well, I mean, he was playing power forward before, though. So, yeah. Hey, we have a uh, $3 donation from a giant rock set saying better stream for a bit today. I mean, I'll probably stream for a few hours, dude. Okay, I see actually a lot of keeps out in there, man. Okay, okay, we'll keep them, we'll keep them. Uh, then we got our trainer who's got like two right there, or two uh, two training camps because that's a B training, which is two training camps. That's fine. All right, I guess uh, NBA draft. And I'm going to see if we can like potentially trade up in this draft. Uh, we do have a few pieces. I would love to get Red Tony Snell to maybe like trade up. We do have the 17th pick, actually. Um, we kind of get like that fourth pick. No offers there. We're not really expecting one. Third, nothing there. Eighth, nothing there. 
Because ideally, it would be nice to, like, give up, like, a Bledsoe or somebody like that to uh, trade up in the draft. Nothing available there. Okay, we, so we might just end up with our actual draft pick. Wow, like, there's no, there's, like, nobody, like, anybody wants. Here we got Ilya Sova for the 14th pick in a second rounder. Tony Snell, Ursan Ilya Sova for the 14th pick in Bonga. I do like Ilya Sova, but he, he does only have one more year left on his deal. And it's like, he's a bench, you know, he's a, he's a stretch big, which we can find more of those. Um, and it saves us, like what, $18, $19 million going into this free agency, and we get that 14th pick. So I think I'm going to do this, guys, just kind of save some cap space out there. Uh, I'm okay with that. Plus, Thon Maker, maybe he could be like a stretch big for us eventually. But let's send the user pick. So we got this 14th and 17th pick. We should get uh, something pretty nice for that. Um, so we got available Luka Samit, Jamorant, uh, Simi Sola Shitu, who is a uh, power forward right here, man. He's 73 overall. Not any of these guys I really need all that much. Jonte Porter, I, like I said, I always like him. Jared Colby, he's a pretty good three-point shooter. I might, just go, I might just go with this Luka guy who is, uh, what, what does he actually do well, though? Ceiling Derek Coleman, that's not bad. 6'10", height, uh, what, 11 points. Oh, I'm sorry, no, 21 points, 11 rebounds, 32 three-point shots. So he's got some potential there. He's going to be overseas for a season or two, which is fine. It will give him time to develop, so we'll go with him. So we said take Basie, did I die? His name's Shit Too, man. It's Shit Too. It's shit too, dude. Um, I'm not, I'm not lying there. All right, what's, what we got up next here? Okay, so as far as more plays available, we got Jamoran still. Uh, freaking bitch ass bug in here. God damn. Well, fuck out of here, bug. Uh, piss me off. And, 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 damn wintertime. Where are they coming from? Jalen McDaniels. Uh, here is. Is this. Guy, this guy's from Kentucky, isn't he? Virginia Tech. Hey, that was my. Not my second guess. But he's 75 overall shooting guard. He's 6'5, 6'8 wingspan. I think he's a pretty good offensive player, so we'll add him to the squad. Might not make up for uh, Tony Snell leaving the team. All right, so we got that. Rookie signing, 72 overall. And a, wow, 76 overall, actually. That's uh, actually a bit of a steal. Hey, we have a donation, man. Two uh, D Loading Who said, donated $3, said, sign up Clay Thompson. Oh, please believe me. I'm going to throw him an offer. So, team player options, Milton declined his, George Hill, we are going to decline that. He might still be back on the team just for a cheaper contract. Uh, Pat Conahey, that's not too bad. Then we got Sterling Brown. Sterling Silver is a bit more expensive. That was a bad joke. <laughs> uh, okay, Sam Decker. Uh, <laughs> it's been real, it's been fun, but it has been real fun. Bye, Felicia. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, yeah, for $3 million. Please believe I'll bring him back. Moratorium period. Okay, so, money-wise, Eric Bledsoe, we do have rights on him, but we can get Derrick Rose, Brogdon still out there, JJ Reddick, Chris Middleton, um, so actually, Tobias would be kind of cool, man. <sighs> Could I afford Chris Middleton back on the team and get Tobias Harris? Because that would be, like, pristine, man. Um, it's like, I, I really want, yo, where, where, where's Clay? It says I actually can't afford him. I would have to renounce some rights to do so. But I'm going to throw him an offer. Would be nice. Uh, Boogie Cousins. Brooke Lopez was okay for us. We still got Kyrie up in here. Kemba Walker. Throw him an offer. Jimmy Butler. I don't really see myself needing him. Uh, guys, any, guys, give me one more free agent that I should go for. Anybody else? Anybody else I should go for here? I'm going to... It's like I, I want to hold off on Chris Milton for now. I'm not going to throw KD an offer. I don't, that, that's just, like, too easy, man. I'm, I'm going I'm to throw Chris Middleton this money, too, here, man. See if that works. So, Clay and Middleton. Can I afford both? I don't know, guys, because this is the part that always confuses me. Can, guys, can I afford both players, or am I just... Is that not enough? Accepted offers. Cap room, negative $82 million. Cap hold, $35 million. I don't know if I can afford both. I don't got bird rights. Bro, somebody let me know, man. Somebody let me know. And then Giannis will go to the four spot, obviously. But damn, that would be nice. I cannot, I cannot afford both. Okay. So I'm going to... Who should I keep? Guys? Should I get Clay or Chris Middleton, guys? Clay or Chris Middleton, guys? Let me know in the chat, man. Some people are saying decline Middleton. Okay, okay. Somebody said get Clay. I see Clay. You know, we went 41 and 41. It's time to upgrade in certain aspects. 
Goodbye, Chris Milton. I'm sorry, man. Kemba on the Hornets. All right. Let me get out of the moratorium period here. Milka Brockton is getting an offer from the 76ers. Um, if I match that, do I got enough for bitch-ass Clay? I think I will. I think I will. But I don't really... <sighs> okay, so I, I do have Clay Thompson. Uh, I no longer have bird rights on Eric Bledsoe, but I can still afford him, it looks like. Uh, if I do get him back, though, he probably is going to be a, a sign-and-trade thing going up in here. So, okay, we got him back on the team. Probably going to get traded away, though, if I'm being honest. Um, also, I don't think I can afford... Yeah, Brooke Lopez looks like he got signed elsewhere. Can't really afford him. I'm okay with that. He didn't do as great as he's been doing in real life. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, but, yeah, we still need a center. And, like... Yeah, we might be making some trades out here, man. <laughs> Uh, Tyson Chandler's pretty cheap. We still got, uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 there's, yeah, there's Brooke. Wow. Any chance he signs for that? Ooh, he might. Come on, come on, Brooklyn. Come on, bitch, yeah, bitch, yeah, hey, bitch, yeah, Brooklyn, let's get, man. What the hell, man? It just said I could afford you, though. 2K is glitching. Oh, is it because I got Tyson? Is it because I got is it's because I got Tyson probably right? It's probably because I got Tyson. Oh my god! Can I, can I, okay, give me the draft pick. Give me the draft pick. Okay, so we should in theory have the same amount as we had before to get him. Still declining like a little bitch ass, bitch ass Brook, as I like to call him now. I'm not trading away my rookie here. Pat Conahay, you know, I, I really don't need Pat Conahay. Nothing against you, Patty Boy, but uh, Patty Cake. That's a kind of a good nickname. Not really. It's actually kind of trash. All right, let me try this now. God damn, Brooke, I'm freeing up all this money for you. And you want none of it. Piss me off again. I wish you would. All right. Um, let's go to training camps. We're going to make some trades, though, guys. Going to make some trades. Another Woj Bomb. Ooh, Woj Bomb, Woj Bomb. Woj Bomb. What do we got? What's going on here, man? Washington. Ooh. Oh, we got some big time stuff going here. Which makes me feel better about letting him, letting him go. Washington will join the Cavs Bucks deal as a third team and acquired Sam Decker for Jason Smith in a future second round pick. I'm not hyped. <laughs> I'm not hyped at all. It's okay. Cool, Woj. Thank you, man. That's you know you know how it's like a Woj bomb. That's like a Woj firecracker. That's not even a, that's not even a firecracker. You know, like the little like those little white things that you throw on the cement and they just pop. That's what it was. It was a popper, <laughs> not a Woj bomb. That's for damn sure. Okay, we are in the 2020 draft. Shout out, guys. We do have um three. I I, ha I have called my girlfriend a bitch ass before, but you know, like, like jokingly, not like serious. She calls me a bitch ass too. It's just a bitch ass thing going around, I guess. Play Clay 38. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so. Man, I, I really do like Clay Thompson potentially going on the Bucks. That would actually be perfect. Um, untapped potential here. I am going to use that on probably our, our rookie here. I want to make him like a like a Manu Ginobili, Jason Terry type of six man. Just somebody that goes out there and gets stuff done. I'm also going to use another one here probably on Thon Maker. Um. Thought might actually spend some time in the G League unless uh, something else happens. Trade for Gobert. That would be a nice fit. Okay, so as far as trades go, I do want Giannis playing the small forward position this season. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for a stretch four, also a center, also potentially a point guard. Hopefully I can uh, combine these two guys together and get something pretty nice. So we got Jordan Clarkson, Tristan Thompson, John Collins, Kent Bazemore, Sound Whiteside, and Wayne Ellington. Not bad. That's not bad. Malik Monk, Bogdan, uh, Tim Hardaway, Ennis Cantor, Aaron Gordon. God, my bitch ass nose is itchy. Aaron Gordon. Ooh. You know, Orlando, you you kind of are onto something right here with this trade. We get that. We get that four we need. Aaron Gordon. Looking at his stats. 18 points, 8 rebounds per game last season. Not a great three-point shooter, but he's okay. He does, have, he does have a pretty friendly contract, too. You know, less than $20 million. Hey, we have a uh, $3 donation from a giant rat saying, saying, Holy Pistons got wall. 
Adio, Zaza, and Reggie. That's got to be a lie there, man. That's got... Don't, don't, don't do me like that, bro. Now I, now I got to Google him, man. John Wall Pistons. Don't do me like that, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. I do appreciate the $3. That's about the contract that Reggie Jackson should actually have in real life. But you got me, man. Good, good, uh, good troll, good troll. Okay, what, what, uh, what was I talking about, Spencer Dinwiddie? Uh, he would also be a nice little, like, pass first point guard, although I don't think he's great offensively, which is what we want around Giannis. So his stats, 81 midi, 83 three-point shot. Guys, I think I like this trade a lot. Not bad. Uh, we got Harrison Barnes, Sean Livingston, no. Sergi Ibaka, OG Anobi. Ooh, Clint Capella, Avery Gordon. Another not bad one. But, you know, that's the thing about Clint Capella in this game, though. Uh, he, he typically puts up like 10 points, 10 rebounds. I can find that for a lot cheaper. We got TJ. Ooh, Steven Adams. Roberson. Andrew Wiggins. Ooh. That's it's a nice trade. Guys, which trade am I doing, man? You know what? Straw pull time. Straw pull time, guys. All right, here we go. I, I gotta, I gotta pull it up because hey, that's that's another pun, man. It's another pun. Um, straw poll. Okay, who to trade for? We had Aaron Gordon slash Dinwiddie. We had Hassan Whiteside, and now we have CJ McCollum. Let me create this poll. Oh, it's not working. Never mind, guys. Straw poll never works for me anymore. Kind of pisses me off. Okay, what do you guys all say, man? We got, we see a lot. Something says CJ's a bad fit. CJ, yeah, point guard. Somebody said, don't get CJ. You have Clay. I mean, Clay can play small forward. He's honest at the four spot. So, I see a lot of CJs in the chat. I think, I think we're going to, I think we're rolling with you guys. I think we're rolling with you, man. CJ McCollum, welcome to the team. That's what the chat said, guys. That's what the chat wanted. I did like Goran a lot, though. Um, yeah, we're going to try this out. So, now... Guys, I'm going to have to finesse a little bit right here because I do want to put Giannis just at the power forward spot naturally. His reign goes down three points if you do that, uh, which I don't want because he would not go back down that much. So I am going to put his reign back up to 95. Um, so I'm going to have to up some of the stuff here. But it's already is dominant anyway, so it's not that big a deal. So my apologies. I hate doing this. It's just like I wish there was a way to have like players not get penalized for going like changing positions like this. So I don't know, man. It just makes him a little bit better at like some of the stuff he's already really good at. Um... And then we are going to put Clay Thompson, who is 6'7 at the small forward position. And then we got CJ right there. Yeah, I don't really want to put him at point guard. So that take... Ugh, our point guard position, though, is weak now. And we have no bench either, man. We have absolutely no bench. So, I'm not training CJ. I'm trying him out this season. Uh, free agents, is there any like good point guards that's available? Ooh, Darren Collison. Do we have the money for him? Oh, he might actually, if we can get Darren Collison, that would actually be a W for us, man. And we do, we actually get him for a season. I would also potentially like to upgrade the center position, but uh, we got Greg Monroe on that. He was on the Bucks before, so at least he knows the team. I would like more of a, uh, what, what's uh, Zubach's like block and stuff like that? Because I want a guy that can just like grab rebounds and throw back some shots. I know I got Tyson Chandler, but he's a bit old now, so it's 80 defensive rebound and a 72 shot block. That's okay. Uh, we got Greg Monroe. I know he's not a shot blocker, but his rebounding is pretty nice, I would think. Yeah, 86 defense rebound. Let's uh, throw him a contract, see if he signs up for it. And for the minimum, he declines that. Kind of expected. Mike Muscala, he might be like the new, like, Ilya Sova. He declines that. Okay, our money situation is just trash. Um, Let's go to... Huh, I feel like we still get better some ways, though. Yeah, let me try Tyson... And Bonga. And I'm even going to toss in a future first at this point. And see if we, we I don't know, man. Ooh, Dwayne. See, I, I, I really like that trade. That's not bad. Dwayne Denman and we get Jair Smith, who would be a nice little uh, prospect for us. Alfred Payton, Antonio Blakeney. Uh, Wayne Ellington, no. Malik Monk, no. Mitchell Robinson. JaVel McGee, 79 overall player for, uh, you know, three years, $8 million. So we would just, like, be okay at center for, like, the next three seasons. Which is kind of what I need to be anyway. I also I also said Ed I also saw Ed Davis 76 overall. No, no, I think Javel's the move though, guys. We don't get Javel up in here, so we got him. I'm not getting KCP, man. 
Okay, so this is the lineup for this season. We do have Darren Collison, uh, CJ, Clay, Giannis, JaVel McGee, bench unit. We got uh, Nick Alexander. I'm going to call him Nick. Thon Maker, Darius Miller, Harkless. Okay, his minutes are going to leave and go to Raul probably. It's like a little backup point guard action. Yeah, it, a bench unit is trash. There's no denying it. But, uh, you know, our big three is going to play quite a bit here anyway. So, that's kind of okay. I want him, I want him playing a lot more. Found Maker gets the uh, backup power forward slash center minutes. Javel at about 29 a game. You know, Darius, I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking of just doing like a nine man rotation. I think I'm going to do that because when you have a weak bench like that, it's like you might as well just play the starters a lot. Darren Collison in a few more. Javel McGee had a few more there. And then we'll get Raul right there. Fine. Okay, that's fine, man. Um, So, what are your predictions for this team record? He's like, I, I got a big four. That's right. I do got Javel. It is a big four. Um, so we still got pace and space as three and a half stars. Primer centric. We got creates mismatches in favor of stretch bigs. Giannis is not a stretch big. Creates mismatches versus poor interior defenders. That's not bad either. Can create open perimeter shots from double teams. Uh, increased chance for fouls and free throws. Limited three point attempts. I don't want that. Yeah, I feel. Oh, what's up? What's the seven second looking like? I might do this because we got we got we got some dudes on this team that can like run and gun it. So we'll do, we'll try the seven second offense out. Uh, I see some fifty wins out there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say probably fifty two wins. Fifty two wins is my prediction. But guys, before we get going on the simulation, we got four hundred people watching this live stream, guys. I need you all to hit that like button, please, guys. Please do it, bro. And if you're new to the channel, I do two K videos every single day, just like this. Yeah, I do some other stuff, too. I do a lot of rebuilds. I like rebuilds. They're a lot of fun. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And without further ado, let's do it. Let's get him in. Simulate through date. Sign Melo for the culture. That, 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 that's not a culture I want to be a part of, unfortunately. That is a culture. Oh, what do we got, man? Uh, we have to fix menu. If, I do, if you do automatically, sometimes this game, like, crashes. So I'm not risking that. So let's just go pick up a free agent real quick. Damn, I actually... Rondi, come on, man. Come play for the Lolo. Come on, man. You can sit your ass on the bench then. I don't care. Is there anybody, like, really cheap we can add to, like, help our bench out? Not really. Justin Holiday, I guess. I'll throw him a contract if possible. Okay, I'm just going to take a freaking minimum player. <laughs> you all pissing me off. All right, just give me uh, Lamar... No, oh, I thought it was Lamar Odom for a second. Lamar jo Jordan. Okay. I can't even afford Lamar Jordan. That's when you know things are getting rough. Contract you, Lee. It's not even a word. All right, here we go. Now simulate through date. Come on, 2K. Let me play my damn game. There ain't no minutes remaining. The rotation is fine. The rotation is fine. Oh, now we dropping L. Now we're dropping L's because damn Lamar. Lamar Jordan, what are you doing in the locker room? Are you being like Gilbert Arenas or something? Are you bringing guns to the locker room and scaring everybody? Because I don't know what's going on. We started we start off four and one. Just killing my team chemistry. <sighs> By the way, the Bucks do have Jason Smith now. He would not have played for me anyway. I can't believe what's going on with this team, though. I really cannot believe what's going on with this team. Like, we should be so much better than this. I'm gonna give it till the trade deadline. And if we're not, like, five games over 500, maybe even more than that, I might, the hashtag uh, trade CJ might be going around, guys. Hashtag uh, trade CJ might be going around. LeVar or MJ. I mean, okay, we're doing a little, we, we beat the Warriors, so we got that. Main score, Clay? No, man, we want that to be, uh, we want that to be uh, Giannis, don't we? Attacking the basket and stuff. Should we have never trade for him in the first place? I disagree. Well, trade deadline's passed, so we're with the team here. We are doing better now, though, man. We are doing better now, so. Damn, guys, I wish I could play music for you guys out there because it, I don't know, like, that's why I, that's why I like about Twitch is that you could do live streams, but then if I do, if I, if I live stream on Twitch, nobody knows I'm live streaming, so I'll get, like, seven viewers. So, do pace and space. We're doing fine now. It's fine now, so I'm not going to change, I'm not going to change anything. It's not really fine, but we're better than 41 to 41 like we were last season. I'm not training Giannis. I'm not training Giannis. Why would I train Giannis? 
be the worst possible life choice. That would be worse than doing actual cocaine, I think. No, it wouldn't. I'm sorry. Dude, no, 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 man. Hashtag Gitzo. That's, come on, man. You, you got a better hashtag get, Gitzo. <laughs> yeah, better. You got a better hashtag than that, man. Come on. Like, how, how about hashtag Gozo? Like, go, like, or Limes, Limes Go. Like, go with Limes. I don't know. Uh, looks like we might be a 50-win team. Let me turn trades back on here real quick. And, okay, so we got one more game, simulate through date. I'm not trading Kalei. I, let, 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 me, let me try out. Let me, let me see what the stats are first. Uh, who said trade Giannis? 28 points, 16 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks per game. Zion as rookie of the year for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Eric Blett, he would get 6, man. What team, man? What team did he go to again? Did I trade him to the Warriors? No, he's on uh, Portland. Interesting. Uh, defensive player for Giannis also. Most improved, Dennis Smith. Very nice numbers for him. Nick Nurse, always getting coach of the year. Here is All-NBA first team, All-NBA second, and All-NBA third. Giannis making all-defensive, of course, and looks like that's about it for our team. Okay, so we are the third seed in the uh, Eastern Conference. That's okay. I'm, I'm good with that. Player stats on the season. So Giannis, uh, Clay Thompson, 22 points, three rebounds, three assists. CJ at 20 points, five assists per game. Um, all of them shot about 50% or higher field goal percentage, so that's good. JaVale McGee, very nice numbers, 13 points, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks. Uh, Nikhil Alexander-Walker did very solid for our rookie out there. Darren Collison doing doing nice things. Stone Maker did decent. Raul did decent. And, of course, we got Sam Decker, but he is on the Wizards now in real life. Okay, so first round. We do have the Brooklyn Nets. Let's uh, simulate current round right here. See how this goes. We up 2-0. Oh, 2-1, 2-1. 3-1, and we got four games to one. Uh, it looks like, wow, Cleveland is number two. Oh, my God. I, I guess they won the trade, pretty much. I guess they won the trade. Big time game for Yasso, triple-double, 25 for CJ, 21-10 for JaVale, and then 18 for Clay Thompson. All right. Uh, let's see what this Cleveland team's doing, though, man. I, I know they got Zion, though. They also got a healthy Kevin Love, so that would not... But, like, is, is Kevin Love coming off the bench, or are they running him at center, or what are they doing? Because both of them are listed as power forwards in this game. And uh, Della Dova still getting the DNP out there. All right, here we go. Cleveland, simulate current round. See how this goes. And if we, I swear, guys, if we lose to Cleveland, if we lose to, oh, if we lose to Cleveland. Fuck! Moving on. Closeout game, 28 points for Clarkson, 18, 9, and 6 for Zion. Colin Sexton, 16. Double double for K Love. Clay at 27. 19 for Giannis. 14. Shooting eight times. 14 for CJ. I don't know, man. Do I, do I, who do I trade? Do I, do I trade CJ at this point? I guess. Do I, do I trade CJ for something? Or what do I do, man? Sorry, I got bitch ass stuffy nose now, man. All this rage is like clogging me up. All right. So we are going to go to the NBA draft. See what we can do with this. And... Pause. Okay, trade finder. CJ McCollum. He is 90 overall, though. And my first round draft pick. What does this get us these days? Ooh, Zach Levine and Derrick Rose. Okay, okay. Um, I think I... Ooh, Kevin Love, not bad. Gordon Hayward, Jonte Porter, Isaiah Thomas, Mike Conley, Quentin Grimes, Jay, uh, Josh Richardson, and Hassan Whiteside. Not bad, not bad. I, I really want a better point guard, though. Rudy Gobert and Joe Ingles. Kind of like that. 
Then I could probably put uh probably trade Javel for a point guard. Vucevic, Tim Hardaway, Aaron Gordon, Julius Randle, D'Lo. All the depot got him yesterday. I don't want to get him again. I like the first round pick. Can't say I like Wiggins. Can't say I like Wiggins. Draymond Green. Oh, Bradley Beal also available. But I'm gonna play Clay Bag at shooting guard. Guys, this trade's not guys. Who is who is the uh who is the best player in this draft class? Who is the best player in this draft class? Yeah, I I well, I, I could actually trade Wiggins. That is true. Um I don't like the idea of trading away Luca though, because like he's our Euro stash. He's already at a 79 overall player. So I don't think I'm gonna do this trade. I think I'm gonna keep Luca actually. Uh I think of the trade I like the most is this trade definitely is not bad, but I think I'm going to go with Rudy Gobert for a season and Joe Ingles. If anything, it frees up money for us eventually anyway. Um, and I feel like Joe Ingles is like, would be a nice player to have alongside Giannis anyway. So we'll do this. I'm good with that. I'm good with that trade. Okay, there we go. We got him now. And then Javel will probably get traded for a starting point guard. Or maybe we have the money to sign one. I don't really know. Uh, so yeah, we got Luke who's going to be on the team now. He's probably going to be our four on this team. Or probably our backup four for us. So he's going to bring some much needed help to the bench unit. Team player options, nothing with that. Qualifying offers. Bring back Lamar Jordan and Thon Maker, of course. And the moratorium. I don't know what our money situation is. We are, yeah, we have, like, no money available. Um, best one we can sign is Sean Livingston for point guards. And that's not going to get it done exactly with this team. I would, no, at least if I don't really need. Got a backup shooting guard. Um, I would like to get a better backup point guard. So let's uh, aim at that. So I only got a starting point guard as of right now. Let me get J.J. Breyer because he freaking been killing me, man. He, 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 like, kills me in these sometimes. So, I'm going to get him. And I think next up, like I was saying, I'm going to try to trade away Javel for a starting caliber point guard. So, let's trade away him. Um, also, a future first and a future second. So, we get somebody decent. See, Patrick Beverly, that's okay. At least we do get the Clippers draft pick. I might have to do that trade, though, if there's nothing else better. Terrence Ross, no, he's not a point guard. Um... <sighs> Penny Mills, I saw. Tomas is okay. Top three protected big from the Wizards. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess just give me Pat Beverly. Yo, Brunson, yeah, he's only 72 overall. He's fine. 78 overall player. That's that's okay. It's it's it's, it's okay. Sorry, guys, Javel is gone. Okay, so let's try to get some other players. Um, let's go with like a Omari Caspi, I guess. Just like we definitely gotta like up our bench unit. That's, that was our big uh, weak point for us. Okay, he's going to the Thunder, I guess, so that's fine. It's his life choice. It's a wrong one, but it's his life choice. Jalen Jones, uh, Darius Miller is now a 76 overall player. Jake Lehman, we got CJ Miles, nice veteran. He's probably like 90 by now. And he's going to the OK. Everybody going to the bitch ass OKC Thunder. I'm sick of it. Yo, DJ Augustine available? Hell yeah, man, I'll take DJ. That's my DJ, man. Okay, there we go. So we got him. All right, that's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Let's go to uh, training camps. And then we gotta like adjust, uh, you know, like rotations and stuff like that. I also got Thon back. Look at people are saying look at Clay's value. I probably could actually. Cause I got that uh, Alexander Walker on our team, who was the A two overall player, so I could look at his value. Okay, so I'm now in what draft class? I think we're in the. Uh, we are in the which one is it? Twenty twenty one. Yes, twenty twenty one draft class. Is the new one we are at. Okay, so training camps. Eventually, there we go. Training camps. Uh, the, let's use one of these on... We got two of them. So, we're going to use one on Alexander Walker. And we're going to use the other one on... Probably going to go with Thon Maker, I think. Still, Thon Maker. Because, like, he still has to, like, develop. So, he's getting there, though. He definitely is getting there. Okay, so if I do trade value for uh, Thompson... I would definitely be looking at a just a point guard is really what I need. So let's do a trade with him. Even toss in Did I yeah, JJ Barea, I guess. Because he kind of like fell off in a first round pick. So we could get Ooh, we could get Milton back on this team. We could get Milton back. Also Markel Folds. Zach Levine, Derek Rose, Colin Sexton, Kevin Love, Scotty Lewis, and San. 
CJ, we got, ooh. Maybe we want to see Lonzo Ball on this team? Maybe we want to see Lonzo Ball on this team? Or, or no, man. Huh. We got D-Lo and Keldon Johnson. We got uh, Jamal Murray, Gary Harris. Uh, Blake Griffin, Killian, Paul George, and Dennis Schroeder. Cole Anthony, Andrew Wiggins, John Wall, and Jaden McDaniels. Okay, guys. See, some of you guys are saying no. I, I see some zo and I see some no. So, it, it's all uh, it's all confusing me here, guys. It's all confusing me. I, I actually personally like the PG trade. See a lot of zoes. See a few falses. We also get Middleton back, man. But I am trying to win a championship, so I gotta do what's best for the team. And I oh and I get Dennis Schroeder. Oh yeah, this is definitely a trade, man. I also get Dennis Schroeder. No doubt doing this one. Sorry guys, screw Lonzo Ball. Screw Lonzo Ball, man. I get this is exactly the trade I need because now look at the lineup. Oh uh, well, yeah, Schroeder's actually gonna start. Dennis Schroeder, Alexander Walker, Paul George, Giannis, Rudy Gobert. Bench unit, we got Pat Beverly with Thon Maker. We get Joe Ingles on the bench now, which is just like the perfect bench player we need. We got J.R. Swish Smith up in here. Um, is that one? What, what happened to uh Sandwich? Is he like, <laughs> his name Sandwich, whatever it is. Um, is he not on the team anymore? I don't know. I, I like this trade though, guys. This trade was pristine, bro. Hashtag pristine. All right, so let me get my minutes going. My, let me get my allocation going here. Um, let's get Schroeder at a few more. Go Bear playing quite a bit. I want Giannis playing a lot too. And yeah, shooting guard probably at a f just a few more minutes here. That's the lineup, guys. We got Dennis Schroeder, Alexander Walker, Paul George, Giannis Tanikumpo, and we got Rudy Gobert, Pat Beverly, Thon Maker, Joe Ingles, J.R. Smith off the bench. That is the that guys. That is the trade we needed. Like that is what we needed out there. Seven seconds. I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, ooh, balance is nice. Uh, but I think I'm going to go... Ooh, yeah, I think I got to do balance, actually. There we go. We got that going. Let's go ahead and turn off trades. Get this simulation going real quick. And... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say probably... Uh, I'm going to say a 55-win team. Unless 2K screws me over. It's like I, I got a big four now. Once again, here we go, man. We got to fill out manually. I don't know why it always does that. Uh, free agent, so I actually, ooh, can I get a Roberson on this team? Alright, come on, man, screw you, Roberson. Screw you, Roberson. Thaddeus Young, I could probably get him for pretty cheap. Get him for the minimum, okay, Thaddeus Young is now on the team. He's not gonna play, though. But, uh, he is, he is, uh, you know, on the team, so, it's good for him. Just manually, okay, that's fine, alright, guys. I am liking this team. This is the team that's gonna win us that chip. That championship. Uh, by the way, as we are going through the simulation, if you guys don't mind dropping a like on this rebuild and also subscribing if you're new to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to, you know, I'm on that road to uh, 200k subscribers. We're getting there, man. We're about uh, roughly about 19k subs away, so we're definitely getting there. But just, that's, that's all you gotta say about it, I guess. Huh. You know, guys, uh, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and like today, I uninstalled it. For the second time. Because I... I don't... It's, it's so boring to me, man. I know people love Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been trying to play it. It's just like Cowboy Simulator to me, though, man. It's like it's like Horse Grooming Simulator. So I ended up uninstalling it. I, I feel like I wasted my 60 bucks on it. There's a lot of content there. It's just... I don't know. I'm not interested in the whole Cowboy scenario, I guess. Um, But yeah, man. Super Smash. I do kind of want to get that. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pass on it for right now. Uh, because, I don't know, man, it's like, I, I don't really like playing online all that much, and like, I don't know. My game of the year was probably, I did like God of War a lot, I loved God of War, Spider-Man was amazing, um, but Monster, Monster Hunter World, I absolutely loved that game, guys, I put, I sunk about 70 hours into that game, within like the first like month of it being out, I absolutely just got so much into that game, Monster Hunter was absolutely amazing for me, I did not end up beating it though, but uh, I got really deep into it guys, so if you have not tried out, yeah, yeah, that's like Red Dead Redemption, I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's just not for me, plain and simple, like I, I totally understand the appeal of it, Um, I guess open world games in general, I'm just like not too big on, I don't, I don't know man, like, 
But I love Skyrim. Like, Skyrim's cool. I don't typically like third-person games, although that's literally what Monster Hunter and Spider-Man both are, and God of War. I like third-person games, okay? Negate that statement. Negate that statement. But yeah, our team record would look like we might be about a 60-win team. Did I trade for Jason Smith? No, I didn't. I was doing this after it, but I would have not used him anyway because his reign is not really good in this game, so um, I wasn't too salty about it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, man, we're going to be all 62, 63 win team. Let me go ahead and turn off these trades real quick here. And, or turn back on, I should say. All right, one more game against the Jazz Simulator date. Hopefully, this is our season. Hopefully, this is our season. And we got Giannis at MVP at 28 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals per game. Uh, looking like probably a career high in threes at 34%. Cole Anthony, rookie of the year. Nazrian Reed, six man Giannis defensive player. Michael Porter Jr., most improved. And Muck, Mike Muck, <laughs> Muck Budweiser as coach of the year, guys. He's probably our first place in the Eastern Conference. All NBA first, all NBA second. Here is all NBA third with Paul George actually making that. So that's big time for us. Yeah, Paul George was a very nice addition. First seed, let's go check out these player stats out here. So we got. What do we got? Uh, 28 points, 13 rebounds on this. We know that's at line. 21, 7, and 5 for Paul George. Uh, 18 and 7 for Dennis Schroeder. That's, that was actually the tipping point for that trade. Cause I, I know how good Dennis Schroeder does in 2K. So that was nice. Uh, Alexander Walker at 15 and 4. Rudy Gobert. This is my exact bitch ass point, man. Is that all these centers are so overpaid in this game and they always put up like 10 points, 10 rebounds, or whatever it is. Like Javel did that same thing for literally half the money. More than half them, or less than half the money. Pat Beverly, so happy he was our backup and not our starting point guard. Thon Maker did nice. Joe Pringles out there at five points. Uh, J.R. Swish. All right, just don't give him the ball in that finals, man. I'm, I'm just saying, Giannis. You know, learn learn from LeBron's mistake. All right. Uh, as you do notice, Hill is no longer on this team. Because it is realistic, he would not come back because they're going to use that money in free agency. But here we go. First round with Philadelphia 76 is short. The eighth seed for whatever reason. Simulate current round. We might just get screwed in this. And that will just be it. Oh my god. Ah! 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 4-3. Damn. Coming up. Clutch Giannis. Giannis. Vagina. That came out uh, the wrong way. Actually, no, it came out exactly how I wanted it to, probably. 39, 17, and 7. Schroeder at 18, 5, and 6. 16, 7, and 7. Very nice. 22 for Joel. The process MB. 20 for Benjamin Simmons. Middleton. Try to get his little comeback game, but, you know. All right. Next. Cleveland beat me last time. Seems like current round. All right, we good. 4-2. 4-2, 26 for Clarkson. We got 31, 10, and 10 for Giannis. 26 and 9 assists for Paul George on 10 for 13 shooting, man. We got Schroeder at 27 and 8. He played like a little mini Russell Westbrook. 19, 10 for Gobert. Okay, that's what I like to see. And also the, uh, you know, three blocks and two steals. Here we go. The Atlanta Hawks. Who would win in a fight, guys? A Hawk? Ooh, they got DeMarcus Cousins. A Hawk or a Buck? Damn, they actually knocked out the Raptors, though. That's not good for us. Simulate current rounds.
weed is now legal in Michigan. <clears throat> I'm just joking. I'm going to go take a piss, guys. A very salty piss. A very, very salty piss. Not like actually salty. I try to keep my sodium levels intake. No, I don't. That's a lie. <sighs> what world do we live in that Trey Young has won a championship with the Hawks before Giannis has won one with the damn Milwaukee Bucks? What world do we live in? Damn, I, I just hope... <sighs> I hope that Thanos snaps his fingers again in the next movie and I disappear, bro, so I don't got to put up with this bullshit 2K anymore. I'm just, I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying, man. What world do we live in, man? <clears throat> Moving on to the next season here. Uh, I guess we go to... <laughs> I do. Uh, what do I do, man? What do I do at this point? What what more can be done? At least we got Lucas Sandwich. At least we got Lucas Sandwich. Hey Finnegan. Damn, dude, and all my good meal. We got we got Dennis Schroeder off the books now. I don't know. Staff signing is Budweiser still our coach? Muck Budweiser. We got him for one more season. He ain't his, his potential went down and his defense stayed the same. So you have not lived up your potential, bro. Said stick with the team. Thank you, McJugger Nuggets. I like your I like your uh, content. The cycle series was some good times. I guess we're like we go to the NBA draft. We go to the NBA draft, and that's it. We go to the NBA draft, and we just hope for the damn best. It's not gonna be. Ooh, ooh. Where'd this? where this little gem come from? What the? Yep, we're back. Jalen Green, D'Angelo Russell, Victor Oladipo. I'm not trading. I'm not taking him again. Devin Booker and T.J. Warren. That's a nice trade, man. That's a nice trade, man. That's a nice trade. It's really, really, just a. Uh, that's a banger right there, bro. And literally, it makes sense, too. It, it makes sense for the Wizards, who obviously have not had any success with these two players. Because they get the seventh pick, they get the second pick, and they also get Lucas Sandwich, who was, who's an 84 overall player, and they get a first-round draft pick uh, in 2025. It literally makes sense for both teams. We get the two veterans. We, we, we get to just upgrade our backcourt. John Wall's off the books after this season anyway. And we, yeah, like you said, is it, it going to be enough to beat the uh, the GOAT, Trey Young? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Whew, all right. I feel like I, I like have, like, new life in me now. Lady Gaga. Bro, this literally looked like Lady Gaga and David uh, Fizdale had a child. Gaga bits of D <laughs> Bitsdale or Biz bits of D. I don't know. It looked like Fizdale to me, man. Goga. <laughs> you ever have Gogurt? Was, is, 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 is Gogurt still around? I remember having that a lot as, uh, as a child. B Ram Fay. B Gone Thought. How about that? Go, 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 guy. <laughs> go, guy is going to be the new go, go, go of the NBA. Oh, we got Paul George back on two on the 37 million. I didn't even know he had a player option, man. Uh, we have a t two year team option on Alexander. He is going to be going back to the bench, unfortunately. He will be going back to the bench, but that's okay. It just strengthens that for us. Uh, this guy, yeah, I guess I'll bring both these guys back. Pretty solid players for their, uh, you know, rating-wise. Uh, Moratorium. Ooh, Giannis is off the books, man. We got to get Giannis back. Oh, wait. Can I, can I, can I, I can afford Giannis, right? 
I can afford Giannis, right? I don't care. I'm giving as much money as possible. I'm not losing Giannis. Oh, no. And then Rudy Gobert is going to be gone. Wow. We might actually have to trade uh, for a new center. But I'm not risk losing Giannis. So I'm giving, I'm giving the dude his payday. He more than deserves it. Found Maker. We still got him back. He might actually be our starting center now, guys. Found might be the new starter of this team. So we got him back. Uh, what we got him on the team, I should say? Schroeder, I would still like for a backup point guard. We got the bird rights. Why not? Um, bench unit is going to be pretty solid though for us. Joe Pringles, we can still afford to bring him back. Although I expect his reign to probably drop down. So we got him. All right, that should be fine, man. That should be fine for us. Uh, let's go to training camps. Continue to develop some of these players out here. And just roll with it. Somebody said the trade wall. I, I don't really see a point in doing that. Uh, it's, it's like $41 million freed up after the season. Although our cap, we're, we're so over the cap that uh, it's not like that $41 million is actually going to help anyway. Negative $90 million in cap. It's fine, man. A little pocket change. You know, that's that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a problem for future Crispy, you know? That's not, a, that's, not a, that's not a now problem. Right now, we got a very nice team. All right, we are in the 2022 draft class. This rebuild's actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, that's all right. I'm, I'm debating on doing some park after this. Although park has been lagging for me whenever I've been playing it. So if it does that again, I might just not do park. But uh, yeah, let's go to training camps now. I, I mean, my video has been playing the whole time on here. That's annoying. Frank Centeno says, I would do a better rebuild. Trust me. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> all right, uh, on top potential, let's go with... Uh, yeah, I could do a better rebuild too, man. I could go out inside Kevin Durant and trade for LeBron James. But I like to do my rebuilds differently. I like to have fun with it and do some other stuff up in here, man. So, yeah. Uh, let's do uh, Thon. Another untapped on him. And once again, probably on our man, Alexander Walker. Advanced next season. I got, I got to check out Thon's stats, though, before I decide on what I want to do with him, though. So we got John, Bradley, Paul George, Giannis, Thon. Um, and then we got Alexander Walker, 86 overall. Dennis Schroeder off the bench. Joe Ingles, George Niang. Definitely got to trade for a backup center. So that's our that's our first thing. So probably trade. Uh, I wish Ingles was like 75 overall still, but at least 75 overall, I should say. But yeah, we'll trade away these two dudes right here. Actually, our one dude. Oh, can we call him up by any chance? Is that like an option? Can I like actually call him up? Because that would just take care of our issue. Come on, man. I need you now, bro. I need you now, Goga. Lady Goga. <laughs> go, go, gadgets. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Um, okay, so Niang and Neto. Hopefully for a center, O. Oh. Please, O. Oh. Please, man. Give me one center, 2K. <sighs> Bitch-ass contract, Biombo. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, that's actually our best option. And we also get Zach Lofton. I actually saw him uh, play the preseason with the Pistons. He's not a bad player, actually. Okay. You ain't starting. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you ain't. <laughs> this man came on the team like he was starting. Come on now. All right, Lofton's actually going to get these minutes probably over Ingles because of the better rating. Oh, no, he's only 6'4". So that's too short for the small forward position. Unless you're each one more in the Pelicans. Hey, you right there. Uh, bench is not going to play a ton. I guess this dude is. I don't know, man. Uh, and let's go with Paul George in a few more minutes. John Wall right there. Bradley Beal right there. And you right there. Okay, that should be good. I, this team should be like a... It should be like a 60-win team. It really should be. Will it be? Well, I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. No, we're going to find out right now, actually, guys. James Lockwood says, please shout out. Shout out to James Lockwood. Welcome to the stream, my man. All right. Turn off trade lot or turn off trades, I should say. Here we go. Simulation time. Please be my season, man. Please be my season to win. Please be my season to win. But, oh, my God. going on with this team <laughs> oh 
Who? I don't even. I, I guys, I, I literally don't even know what moves to make anymore, man. I'm not even a 500 team. I don't even know what moves to make, man. Lori Markinen, Derek Rose, Kevin Love, Torian Prince, John Collins, Josh Richardson, Sam Whiteside, De'Aaron Fox, Willie Collie Stein, okay. Brand Ingram, D Lo. Might have to do that. I might have to bring on Chris Paul, guys. And we also get Marquise Chris. I know he's old as hell, but he's still he's still 91 overall, man. Is John Wall screwing it up, guys? John Wall is cursed in this damn game. I, I, I promise you that. Absolutely cursed in this game. Hey, if, if you try to start my team one more time, bitch ass, you know what? You're pissing me off, man. You're pissing me off. Where you at? Be gone, thought. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I'll, I'll take the cap. I, I, bitch, I'm already negative $900 million in cap anyway. And why does... Thad, why do you not want to start? Why do you keep on getting afraid? He keeps on getting afraid of something. I don't know what it is. All right, we down to nine man rotation. Chris Paul, get more minutes, man. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you're 37. You got the rest of your life ahead of you, man, to, to rest. You got the rest of your life to rest on this team. Bradley Beal, get more, get more minutes. More minutes for everybody. Everybody get more minutes. We're all seeing some more PT. Okay. Um. I don't know, man. Somebody's going to get injured. <laughs> Can we have some success now, please? Can we please come on this team? Came out wrong. Can we please go on the court and have some success as... An organization? Because this has been nothing but chokes for the whole damn time. W. L. W. L. It's like a freaking song. W. L. Okay, well, now, it's, now it doesn't want to do it. All right, we got... Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Disable trade offers. I swear, if I got to sign... If I got to do this one more time, man. I swear. Okay. I got to calm down. I, okay, we're, we're, we're going to win this season, guys. We're going to win it this season. I, I, I promise you that. I promise you that. Marcus McDuffie. Is that the name of the beer from The Simpsons? I can't even afford Mc, McDuffie. Give me a Sean Lyon. You ain't lying, bro, if I told you you was getting that minimum contract. <laughs> so rude, Crispy. That's so rude. Yo, by the way, guys, uh, shout out to the 300 people we still have watching this live stream. I do appreciate that. Uh, let me do this real quick. All right, that's fine. Chris Paul actually on fire, by the way. Trade PG for a young small forward? No, uh, he's fine where he's at. He, he's fine, dude. By the way, guys, I do need seven more subscribers till I'm at 181,700. So if you guys give me them seven more subscribers, would be greatly appreciated here. He said Bagley's a free agent. Yeah, I couldn't afford him. That, that, that's it, it is weird on this game sometimes where it's just like, um, sometimes a really good. Oh my god, they're still so bad. The team is still so, 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 so bad. This might just be a failed. This might just be a fail, guys. I don't know. We won, then we won like 60 games last season, and that was just that was just it. So. But, yeah, guys. Um, also, I just want to let you know there is not going to be a live stream probably for the rest of this weekend. Um, Actually, that's a lie. I could possibly do one on Sunday. It, it might be like an afternoon stream, though. I'm not still not sure yet. Uh, because tomorrow I am going to be spending the day with my girlfriend. Uh, we got to do our, our Christmas decorating around the old household. Yeah, do that. Giannis is at 38 and PG is at 42. Is that, is that true? It's fine, man. But yeah, Saturday I am going to be busy, guys. Got to do our decorating. Oh, I got to do some bitch-ass, uh, Christmas shopping out here, too. What's going on, TDDC? What's going on, man? Should have just called it Zay. Way easier to say. Ugh. Yo, guys, I just want some stuff in the chat here, man. What's going on, Mohammed? 
Yo, uh, kill FTW. It said, will uh, George Hill become a lot better with the Bucks? Probably not. He'll have, like, his games where he knocks down, like, two threes. I got found maker, Armin. I, I got I got found maker. You know what? You oh, I mean, I'm, I'm past the trade deadline now, so I can't do anything about it. But, yeah, this uh, maybe I should have traded Thon Maker for a better center. That actually will probably be the move. Uh, if this season doesn't go according to plan, which, according to my record so far, it's really not. How do I feel about Detroit? Um, I feel like their current squad is never going to do anything of significance. But it's still Detroit. It's still my team. So, got to support. Got to support. Does that blow the whole team up? I'm not going to do that. Like, the team is still... It, that's the thing. I don't know what more to do. Get DeMarcus Cousins for $5 million? I wish. Giannis, another MVP award. 25 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists. So, like, he's doing his job. It's kind of like what happened last year to me with the uh, with the Pelicans. I might actually try this theory out, guys. Because last year, I did a road to championship video with the pelicans that's like when i kept on real uh, rebuilding a team um until i won the championship right and anthony davis i had him for like nine seasons i finally traded him away and that very next season i won the championship guys so it might be a theory uh that we might have to explore if we don't win it all right here i'm just yo sean lyon got the man got all rookie first team. I'm so proud of you, man. I literally roasted you. And you just came on the team and you dropped your... Let's see, what, what, what stats you put up, man? You put up your... Uh, you put up your your, your your DNP and, you know, you just, you just stay on there. You are a good cheerleader from Michigan, so that's cool. Okay, 2K. Man, it gets so glitchy this late into the rebuild. Jordan or Delhi in a 1v1? Uh, obviously, Delhi. Come on, man. He single-handedly shut down uh, Stephen Curry by himself. Okay, so these are the player stats. I mean, Chris Paul actually was a nice addition, 15 points. See, it's the 11 assists that was the big time, plus, like, not shooting all that much. Not as great as field goal percentage, though. Schroeder, uh, yeah, found maker. You need to play like a bitch-ass dude, dude. All right, here we go. First round, New York Knicks. Simulate current round. <sighs> I have no more rage left in me, man. I'm completely on empty. So let's just win the championship and be done with it. Let's just be done with it, man. We do get the Knicks four games to one at least. Cleveland Cavaliers are probably going to knock me out. If not, the Hawks will. We got Cleveland and the Hawks on here. Dominant now. All right. Simulate current rounds. Cleveland got game one. They got game two. Got game three. And we're gone to Cleveland again. Atlanta Cleveland in the Eastern Conference Finals. Who would have thought we'd have ever seen that, man? I think, though, we are going to test this theory out to see if trading away Giannis. If he's cursed in this game for whatever reason. Wow. Cleveland won the championship, guys. Zion Williamson as the uh, MVP of the whole thing out there. So, apparently we made the wrong choice out here. We're going to go straight to uh, staff signing, trying to get a better head coach, I think. Hey, we have a uh, $2 donation from Faithful Baller saying, you're so cool. Do a Luka Doncic rebuild. I should do, I actually, I don't remember the last time I did a Mavericks rebuild. That might actually be coming up pretty soon. I feel like it was a lot sooner than I remember, though. Like, it wasn't just like, oh, man, I did one like yesterday. But I feel like maybe like less than a month ago, I probably did one. <laughs> Come on, Nick Nurse. Hey, we got Nick Nurse, the best coach on this game. All right, that's a good start right there. Uh, NBA draft, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Although last time I had two top seven picks. Rookie signing. So we get, oh, we got our boy uh, Goga Badazi, who's now 83 overall player. All right, team player options. Uh, get our boy back on the team option. That's nice. Qualifying offers. Got to bring back the, the all-rookie guy right there. Zach Lofton, sure why not. Uh, any other, anybody else we got to get? Because, yeah, because Chris Paul's still on a contract. I feel like our starters are all still there. Okay, Paul George is actually not. Uh, but I am going to bring him back on. Ooh, can I afford Luka? Or probably not. No, Paul George I do want to get back, though. That's way too much money for Paul George. I don't care, man. I got to get him back, though. All right, so he agrees to that. All right, we are now going to simulate to the beginning of the regular season. And then, of course, we are going to try to trade Giannis and see if he's just cursed in the game and see if we can win the championship. 
How long do the actual rosters take to update? Not quite sure, Ashley Anderson. Like, in 2K or... You know, you know what, Mana? It, it is a nice team. The biggest issue is, though, is that we keep on losing. <laughs> so, it is nice, but it's uh, it's not doing anything in this, and I, I just don't get why. We are in the LeBron James Jr. draft class, and we have still not won anything at all. The man say trade uh, Giannis for Luka. Jason Smith is on the team. He is on the team. But I, I, I don't have him on. I'm like, so at this point, he's retired probably in the game. All right, so let's go to Trade Finder, see what we can get for Giannis. 19 trade offers. Chris Middleton. Maybe I traded the wrong guy. Uh, we got Patrick Baldwin, Lori Markinens. That might be the move there, guys. Kemba Walker, TJ Leaf, Vucevic, Chris Thomas Porzingis, and Frank Nilakina. Muhammad Bamba, Jair Wade. Hey, is that a. Yeah, that's Dwayne Wade's son, isn't it? And Andrew Wiggins. Rudy Gobert, we tried that out. Kyle Lowry, John Wall, Devin Booker. All right. I'm thinking definitely the Zion trade, right? Because he literally won the championship last season. So, so we said Lakers. Was that a nice trade? Evan Mobley and Brandon Ingram. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah, we got we to gotta do the Zion trade. Got to do Zion. There we go. And we're only doing this to test the theory is if uh, what's his name is actually like, oh my God, I got so many point guards. Point guards for days. Yo, what happened to, uh, Alexander? It's fine. Okay, so we are going to put him at shooting guard. Stays at 87. Still got our center. Thon Maker going to go to a stretch big. And then Tyler Johnson, um, yeah, I don't care too much about him. We'll put Norton Powell as a small forward for, like, a backup. And, okay, so we got our new starting center in, in, in uh, Lady Goga. All right, man. The, the team is good to go. It, it's it's ready. It is ready. We're just gonna see if two K uh, is a is a is just glitches Giannis or something like that. I guess that's the best way I can put it, man. Here we go. Let's do the simulation. Get to it. Wait, one second. I did. I forgot to uh, put. Yeah, I got. I get. I gotta give those minutes to uh, Norman Powell. We don't need three point guards right there. There we go. I guess I'll give them to uh, Damian Dotson. Dot that eye. Dot that eye. That was uh, that was sub the gamer that used to say that. Did I trade Alexander? My, my apologies. Oh, well, it's not that big a deal. We still got Colin Sexton out of it. Please, 2K. Yo, let's go to the uh, assistant proficiency. See what, see what the best one is out there. Balance for four-star. Pace and space at four stars. Run with that. Simulate through date. I don't know. This is going to be the final season, guys, no matter what, though. And so far, we're 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, 6-0. Six and one. I'm telling you, Giannis is glitched in this game. He has glitched. One sec, guys. I am checking out Twitter real quick, see if there's any uh, big time trades going on. Not really looking like it. Yeah, that's about it, man. Okay. Yeah, no, no, uh, no, 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 no big NBA news outside of the trade that just happened since doing this rebuild. Okay, now we're 17 and 10 since I last looked. What else you guys saying here, man? But yeah, my apologies if you guys uh, are just seeing the live stream. I'm probably not going to put this on uh, YouTube. Because I do have actually another video that's coming out tonight. If Actually, I, I might put it out tomorrow. Maybe I'll put it out tomorrow for you guys that like are missing it and stuff like that. Or I could just do two videos tomorrow. That could also work. I don't know, man. This is this is this is the daily mindset of a YouTuber, by the way. It's like, how should I upload my live streams and stuff like that? By the way, man, we had just reached one hundred eighty-one thousand seven hundred and three subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for that. Support has been absolutely crazy as of late. It always starts picking up again around this time of year, too, man. Because like the summertime, it kind of dies out a bit because like people are not as interested in basketball. And then all of a sudden, it's like, all right, people are interested in b-ball again. So, time to do some work out there. Yeah, record is like it's it's, it's okay. <laughs> what if Yeah? Oh my! I, I swear, I am done live streaming for the rest of my life if Giannis wins the championship. I'm just gonna say that because he's on Cleveland now, which won the championship last season. I will be done. I will be done. I will be done. 
I will be done. <sighs> you said you can't set. Yeah, is uh, is is Park Lake useless now, or is it like stupid now? Or I know there was like a whole bunch of different. Uh, yeah, because you only get like moving screens. I don't know. Man, I've not played Park in a long time though. Are we gonna be fifty wins? Can we at least get fifty wins? Can we at least get fifty wins? Okay, we got 50 wins. One more game against the Knicks. Simulate through date and finish with a L on the season, of course. Uh, Giannis is MVP. <laughs> I mean, he was getting MVPs anyway, so it's not like that's like a new development. Last name is Roach? Giannis defensive player. Moses Moody sounds like a Harry Potter character. Is most improved. And Larry Drew as coach of the year. Um, Giannis all-NBA first team. But so did Zion. Zion also got that. So, yo, we starting to get some lag here, man, from the... Uh, Oh my god. 2K wants none of this. We are too deep into this. Do we meld to the Lakers rebuild? I was thinking about it. If, if it actually happens, I'll do that video. But like I just did a Lakers rebuild, so um I don't really want to do one again. But I actually have a video talking about that. That should be coming out either tonight or tomorrow. But here are player stats on the season. Zion played great for us. Um uh, I feel like everybody like played a little bit better. Bradley or uh, Paul George only had 13 points though. And then our new center did get the 10 rebounds in about one, two blocks a game. Yo, where uh where Colin Sexton go? Okay, there he is. 15 points, four uh, assists. All right. We are the third seed. Cleveland is number one with Giannis. Come on, man. Please, guys. Please. Oh, my God. What are you doing on the Hawks? <sighs> All right, guys. I, I I don't think I can handle any more of this rebuild right now, guys. I, I really cannot handle any more of this rebuild right now. Um, I still kind of feel like live streaming, though. I do kind of feel like live streaming. I don't know if I necessarily feel like doing this anymore, though. Don't know if I feel like doing this anymore. What else should I do, guys? Play some Fortnite? I'm just joking. I'm not playing Fortnite. I don't want... I, I, I do not want to do this rebuild anymore, man. I, I'm done with this rebuild for today. I can't handle it. 2K is pissing me off so much. So, somebody said park. I guess I'll hit up a game of park. If you guys do want to join me, send me a friend request at Crispy Flakes 2K. Or, yeah, Crispy Flakes 2K. I believe it's my gamer tag. Yeah, I can rock a little bit of park, I guess. Just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, though. Will you say park's not going to work, or what? Q&A? If you got questions, uh, feel free to send them my way, guys. Feel free to send them my way. Okay, we're about to lose, like, 97% of our uh, viewership here, so, you know. All right. You know what? I don't know if I'm really feeling. Let's do. Uh, do I want to do, do, do a Q&A? I don't know if I feel like playing Park. You know what, guys? I think I am going to end the live stream right here. Cause I do have a second video I do want to put up today. Um, if you didn't miss this live stream, I will actually go ahead and put it up on the channel. It'll probably be up tomorrow, though, at some point. So, yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching, man. I do appreciate it. Um, peace out, my friends.